Hello everybody! Uh, the game I'm going to try out today is called Edernam. It's another old DOS game, dates back to 1992 I believe. Welcome to Edernam! If you consulted our brochure, you know this is the vacation of a lifetime! You, Don Johns, are about to visit islands which are highly accurate historical reproductions. Many synthetic humanoids will provide stunning realism, adding to your intense pleasure. If you experience any inconvenience, I'll be in touch. Have a nice day. Oh, I was forgetting there's one more thing. On the red sheet of paper you received at the entrance, please indicate the following reference. Um, and for some reason, things seem to go a bit weird here. I'm afraid your access code is wrong. I'm calling security. You're in big trouble, mister. You pirates will never learn. No idea what that's about. First thing I'm going to do is adjust the volume because it's loud. Holy, that is loud. Okay, I think that's a bit better. Uh, so this is Edernam. It's kind of like a 3D DOS game, but it's very strange. Um, the story is you're Don Johns. Um, I believe you're a soldier that's trying to go on vacation, but something goes wrong. Pretty straightforward story, really. Let's talk to this guy. Now, if I were you, an adventurer, I'd follow this road. Seeing it's the only road here, why not? Especially since, well, I don't want to scare you, but the risks are great. Oh, that they are. Very, very great. Uh, so that seemed a bit ominous. Um, there's actually two kind of modes to this game. In this one, you you look around and you are in like this 3D area. You can shoot with the space bar. Um, it's kind of like an overworld, but you're actually in the overworld. Uh, and then there's this third person view where you just walk around normally. Let's talk to this guy. Would you mind telling me where I am? This is the island of Kada. It's the tail end of the archipelago. Duke Ethereld reigns here. You'll find his castle nearby to the east. Can you tell me a bit more? There's nothing more to tell. Just head east and just see what you see. Thanks. And we don't get to ask him the third thing, apparently. Uh, no, I don't want to take anything. I want to talk to this guy. No? Okay. I guess we... No more talking to him, I guess. I don't know where I got the polar bear pelt from. Uh, the game tends to be a bit laggy when it first places you back outside. Um... I first played this game probably back in 1996, and I thought it was just the coolest thing ever. It took me forever to solve the puzzles. Oh, there's somebody else to talk to. Why are you wearing that armor? My face is so hideous, I must keep it hidden. And if, like me, you knew the rigors of the Duke's ordeals, you would learn the importance of stout armor. You must be quite a major hero, right? They always zoom in real close on their face in this game, I don't know why. You are not unlike a hero yourself. Learn from my experience. Do not leave without first visiting the Duke. He will give you the noble quest you seek. I am sure he will. And there's another building here. But we can't access it right now. But this is the castle. Well, let's head on in. Down, Rex. That'll teach you to attack innocent varlets. I do not condone this in the least, by the way. Cut! We wish to make it clear that no dog has been mistreated during filming. 
The dog is, in fact, a well-paid professional stunt hound. Extremely well-paid. How much is well-paid? 30 gold pieces. What? In that case, let's do it again, this time more sincerity. Please forgive this regrettable incident, Master. Thanks for helping. You're here about the ad? I just want a trip here, and Master, to be frank, it is a subject of more interest to his lordship than to me. Present yourself before the Duke, Master. Lord Ethereld is to be found at the end of the second hallway in the council chamber. Rattle, rattle, greetings. A most spiteful dog, don't you find? Rattle, rattle. Hello. So, you met the dog too? Yes, he attacked me most viciously. The rest of the ordeals finished me off. Ordeals? What ordeals? I didn't get past the first test. What test is that? A gaze to be avoided. And then he just walks back and forth. He actually ran into his brother later in the game. Hey you, where do you think you're going? I'm looking for the Duke. Go down to the end of the corridor. I'd bring a sweetmeat for the secretary if I were you. He's a greedy guts and he'll want something tasty before he lets you pass. I almost forgot. It'll soon be time for the train. Warning, keep fingers away from the... Oh well. Here it comes! Good grief, was that a tr- what- what was a train? No. I will get this right, no, no, I won't. Of course, it is the Medieval Express. When you have a message or a packet to send in a hurry, it's the fastest way. That was probably the Duke's pajamas on their way to the laundry. This painting seems to have a keen interest in the hero. These drills are beyond my puny powers. Life is not worth living. Goodbye, cruel world. Pretty view. Never mind that all the blood just splattered in through the window. You still there? Well, don't say I didn't warn you. Next time, stand back. There's still some time before the buffalo come through, though. Get a move on. Here it comes. That ghastly train ruffled my hair again. Yes, these statues talk to each other. It's weird. Whatever. There's someone in there. What happened to you? The guards found me in their private apartments, and they didn't like my explanation. Bet he's roasty, toasty, warm with that fire going off in the background. Whoops, I didn't mean to go back. It's kind of cool that you can actually use the mirror. Neckties. I don't think it'll let me take the neckties. No. Ah, yes. Vacuuming up the medieval castle. I want to talk to you. How come you know about vacuum cleaners? It's the answer to a servant's wildest dreams. We recovered it from another aisle. Infrared glasses. These can be taken. I don't know why the game zooms in here. Um, it does this in the original DOS as well as the emulator. It's just one of those quirks, I guess. <clears throat> kind of wonder who wired this place. I, I don't want to read the books. How to be very big, strong, and irresistible. Whatever. For a soldier, this guy has really long hair. Uh, we gotta go find that candy, otherwise we'll never get to see the Duke. And I assume that we'll need to uh, find other stuff. For the ordeals, because there's a series of puzzles coming up. A sweetmeat, candy probably. Oh, this guy doesn't want to be bothered. Who goes there? Uh, no one. Hmm. 
I think there's something on this table that I want to take, but I don't know what it is offhand. Uh, maybe not. Could talk to this dude, I guess. Are you paid to perch on the furniture? No more. Can you not see I climb up here to keep my beloved company? The girl is sorely afflicted, for she cannot move, poor Mona Lisa. But it's just a statue. It's not supposed to move. In any case, Mona Lisa is a painting. Didn't anyone tell you that? Ignorant oaf. Her name is Mona Lisa de Milo. Countless many artists have been inspired by her intense beauty. There is a camera around here somewhere, looked behind by a tourist, no doubt. If I were you, I would seize the chance to keep a trace of this ravishing vision. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Nothing else in this room offhand. Okay. They love greenery. Yep, that they do. If I lived in a stone castle, I'd want some greenery around too. Winter is on its way. Or as they might say in a certain other franchise, winter is coming. It probably sounds more ominous than that when they say it, though. Let's talk to this guy. Wow, that's a lot of options. Where does the Duke keep safe? That is no concern to you. <laughs> What's for supper? Onion soup! Sounds very filling. Um, I had never noticed before that there's a dog in that corner. Just hanging on the wall there. Hmm. Pretty sure there's nothing in here other than the nice view. One thing I thought that was really cool about this game is that there's a day-night cycle. And the stars come out at night and everything. It looks really cool. I mean, okay, I mean, for, for back in the DOS days, it looked really cool. Uh, I think maybe I have to proceed this way. Well, let's talk to this guy. Whom shall I announce? I'm Don Johns. Guard, let Master Johns pass. I think, I think the guy just took my sweet meat. Yeah, he did. I'm gonna have to go get another one, um, which I think is back here. Yeah, they're just nattering about nothing now. Wait, maybe it's not back here. No, I think I made a wrong turn. The controls are a little bit clunky, but it's still a fun game to play. This game usually doesn't get to a point where you've screwed something up and can't proceed. Usually. There are a few exceptions. So we give this doofus the sweetmeat. see anything. That's right, out of the way. Here you are at Duke Ethelred's castle. He has a, oh, for some, for reasons best known to himself, the Duke just loves testing his visitors. It's more helpful if I have time to actually read the thing. So you're here about the ad, eh? Apparently he's Canadian. Actually, I'm here on vacation. Perhaps solving my problems will prove an amusement for you. No professional hero would agree to help us for so little reward, and the others all failed the preliminary ordeals, unfortunately. You're our final hope, to put it bluntly. First, we we'll want to test your courage, naturally. A few ordeals to get you through. A mere formality, then we will discuss the quest and your pay. Where do these ordeals take place? That just happens to be the first one. You must find the ordeal chamber without any help from anyone. What? After that, of course, it's merely a question of staying alive. I'll give you a clue. The ordeals take place within the castle walls. Good luck, and may you be spared. See, now it's night out there. I don't think there's anything in this room that's useful. 
But it's kind of cool to come in and see the phone book, I guess. You know, all those kings and queens of England and Scotland and whatnot had to call each other. You will, under not any circumstances, disturb me. Wanna bet? This is just a minor setback. Guten Tag, Herr Jones. Oh, maybe that's the guy's name. Maybe he's Jones. I don't know. I've always been reading it as Jones. You never should have insisted x-rays are... Okay. Apparently you had to read really fast back when you played these games. And we still won't disturb him. That's fine. I don't believe it for a second. Now we can walk really fast. I don't think there's anything useful in here either. I don't think we can take the homemade liquor. Looks like the sun's coming up. Am I allowed in here? Master, none may enter the Duke's apartments with dirty boots. I must insist you scrape that mud off. And what gives you the right to complain about my boots? No, this is too outrageous. Get out or shall I lose patience and call upon the guard? Eh. I think there's something useful this way, though. There's nothing to see. There's nothing to see at all in this room clearly full of things. Alright, well we'll go this way then. I know exactly where your deals take place. But let's talk about something else. But what? Of topics there are at least 57 million and three worthy of discussion. Which wilt thou choose? What is this room? Cuthbert's chamber, that is. That poor white, the Duke's beloved son, hath vanished in a cloud of mystery. A navigator was he, and this craft did he build when aged but ten years. What's this boat doing here? What dost thou think it doeth? Needlework, perhaps? Clipping hedges? Boats very little do, especially in here. Lord Cuthbert built it. Too late did he realize he'd never get it out through yonder door. Maybe he'll get lucky. He was fooled by wondrous ideas. That is, the ever the mark of youth. His dream was from the isle to isle to sail. He doesn't look all that funny when you see his face up close like that. Anyhow, let's head this way. This painting doesn't watch me at all, apparently. Okay, well, let's take the onion skins. Because we do want those. Hmm. Uh, I know I don't have everything I need complete the ordeals. No, there's at least one thing I'm missing. Oh, we gotta use this one. There's a conveyor belt somehow. Hmm. Maybe if I go back the other way I'll find the stuff I need. At the very least I need a match. Luckily, the doctor will, uh, here comes the hero giraffe again. Uh, luckily, the doctor will, uh, treat any injuries you suffer in the castle walls. Uh, if you're outside the castle and get hurt, then that's game over. I don't need the camera right now, I don't think, but I will take it. I don't think I can take the speck of dust, nor would it be helpful to do so, I don't imagine. Maybe that guy gives me a match if I take that picture that he wants. I don't imagine he does, but let's let's go figure that out.
So we go and we select the camera and we use the camera. How about a photo? A superb idea. Say cheese, Mona. Watch the birdie. Okay, that did nothing. I was sure that did something, but apparently it does not. Do I get the picture and I give it to him? No? Okay. I still gotta find that match. I mean, it could be in here somewhere. I mean, there's firewood. Maybe here? No. Where would I keep the matches if I was a medieval duke with a castle? I may have overlooked something going this way. The statues stopped yakking to each other, I guess. Tell me if you see anything in those neckties. Nope, okay. Uh, yeah, what about in these books? No? No, don't! Okay, never mind. The hero's an idiot, but it's fine. You know, these almost look like mummies that they're preparing for an internment. I'm going to say entombment. I guess that technically works, but I don't think that's a word. And if it is, it probably isn't the correct one. No, I, I don't look at the books. I swear everything catches his eye except the match and where it's at. if I actually left this room, wouldn't it? Yes, perfect place for a bookshelf. Somewhere difficult to reach. Not allowed over there, huh? Oh, I am allowed over here. There's just nothing over here to look at, I guess. Oh, wait, I have to give him another sweetmeat, huh? That's nice. Okay. We'll go get another one. I like candy more than I do, apparently. Who goes there? Pray leave this room immediately. I have quite enough problems as it is. My keys have been missing for three days. Do not oblige me to resort to violence. And then he throws you out. Rather unceremoniously. Alright, let's go give this guy some more candy. Uh, we need to select it in inventory. And give it to him. And we're through. Strange looking bunch there, that's for sure. Uh, hmm. Let's go back up here. I know there's a match somewhere. Maybe it's in here? I don't think it is, though. It might be in here. Oh, look at our music again. The guy's stunned again.
Maybe this statue talks. No? Wait, I think there's an area I missed on the other side. I... hmm... It's weird because I felt like this moves. I don't have anything on me though that would be helpful there, I don't think. I this is kind of irritating if I'm being honest. Well, let's head back to the Duke's area, I guess. Maybe I missed it in that room with the phone book? No, it doesn't look like it did. Well, there's one last thing I can try. The doctor's not very talkative. Unless you hurt yourself, which we're about to do. No, don't go up the stairs. We'll talk to this little skull. I'm York. I used to be in show business, the theater. That's why they put me in here. Touch a class. You're about to begin the ordeals, and I have some questions to ask you. A word of advice. Use your head. That is what I do. So, you've probably noticed the blinking wall. Um, so, watch what happens if you just try to go across this room. The eye lasers are kind of cool, if you have to admit. Oh, gee, that other guy looks really bad. So, how do you get around that? You use the onion skins. Uh, or you can save the game first, I guess. It's always good to save regularly, just in case your power goes out or something. Uh, no, not the medieval glasses. That's not going to be helpful here. I'm soaked! I'm double soaked! And you gotta really move it, because this is the next room, and if you're not soaked, these flames will kill you. Dry again! Um, now, there's two ways you can die in this room. Why not show both of them off? So that's one. Uh, apparently you get flipped out of there like you're a pancake or something. Mm. 
I do believe after several times they cut this cutscene down to something a lot shorter, though I could be wrong. So we drop down in here again. Don't have to use the onion skins again because we've already solved that particular puzzle. But you still have to get double soaked. That's the other way you die there. Now we get to see the skull guy in the other bed again. I bet you the rest of him's fine, it's just the skull that, that has the problems. So you stand back and before you get too far into the room, you speak, and that drops down. Oh. And I don't need to use any items, but apparently I'm 11% done the game. So that's kind of convenient. And then, of course, you just walk over on this uh, wooden beam. This way, exit here! Yeah, right. I'm not going to believe anything this says. Stuntman! Action! That is pretty brutal looking. Yeah, they cut out the Skull Man this time. Alrighty, so that exit is the real exit. Oh, now we have to do this again. Okay. Apparently you get shot with a cannon, you gotta restart the whole thing. Ha! Ah, dry again! Yes, the biggest problem was he was double soaked at that particular moment. But now he was dry again, so everything's fine, right? Oh, we should get to see the skull guy again. Okay. I know about you guys, but I'm a bit bored of seeing this doctor. But we're gonna go back down there. Simply head over here, you dry out again. Walk over on the board. Take the real exit that says exit. There's a big monster there. We're going to ignore him for now. And this is where the infrared glasses come into play.
because they allow you to see a path that's safer than simply walking into this blind. Yes, and then you have to play with these switches, but I don't know the correct answer. You think they have a sound effect for that? I think that's the right answer. Uh, but here you have the furniture room. You're supposed to have a match, and I don't know where to find the match offhand. But that's what they do if you don't have a match. They just drop a chest of neckties on you. It's why he hates neckties. They, they crushed him to death once, but the doctor brought him back. I believe if we go talk to the skeleton in the lobby, he might give us a clue as to where to find the match. Of course, that will mean needing to get another sweet meat, but we'll be in the area anyway. That's somewhat downhearted for a moment. That's a natural reaction and entirely understandable. After all, you haven't been a practicing hero for all that long. Nevertheless, we'd appreciate it if you could speed up the action just a little. I'm sure that's what all my YouTube viewers are saying right now, too. Alright, so we head back here. Keep walking. We talk to this guy. Or not. Maybe he's too far away? No? No, he won't talk to us at all. So we came down here for nothing, I guess. I guess we'll try one last search in this area, see if we can find that match. Nothing the other way. Hmm. Pretty sure you have to do the ordeals first to get the key that the guard misplaced. I could be wrong about that. Yeah, there's still nothing to see there. There is a match somewhere. I know this because I've I've beaten this part of the game before. I've never actually beaten the game before though, uh, because when I was growing up, I only had the demo version. Um. So I could only beat the first part of it, which is right here. Um, and now that I have the full version, uh, DOSBox, at least 10 years ago when I last tried this, uh, wouldn't render part of the game properly. Like, you couldn't get past it. So I think there's a slightly newer version out now, so we're going to give it another shot. Who handles the cleaning? That's a lowly servant's task. Let's just talk to everybody. The Duke sure is a wonderful person, right? Indeed, his subjects revere him. He is fearless, wise, just, and good. A great and wise lord indeed. I'm looking for the Duke. Once you're at the entrance, go straight ahead. It might be in this... Ah, here we go, a match. Pretty sure I have everything I need to finish the ordeals now. I did have the right room because I'm like, oh, there's firewood in here. Maybe there's a match. I finally found it. And I'm speeding up the action. Shut up, you guys. And the doctor that doesn't want to be disturbed, although he didn't disturb me with that message this time. Ah, uh, sure, we'll talk to the skull again. Why not? What's the quickest way to tidy up a room? Bring in the monster? Pull the levers? Set it on fire? Could be! Sleeping snakes aren't always dead. It's true, they're not always dead. I think that was gone too long, so we have to uh, use the onion skins again. Let's show what happens when you talk to the monster. 
And then what happens when you don't follow the infrared path? Oh, right. Don't want to step too far out of this room yet. The return of the green swamp beast, trademarked. So, you're a long way from home, too. If you weren't a prisoner, I'd let you have it twice. Ooh, that does look painful. The revenge of the green swamp beast. Unless you say see you later, he will go out and kill the hero. That's just the way it goes. Now uh, we see the skull guy again. The blinking's kind of cool. Kind of wonder why the doctor has red eyes, though. I've never seen anyone with red eyes. Seems like you drop that board down and it quiets the music and now it's just gone entirely. Oh, this room looks safe. The ordeals must be over, right? Oh. He's fine. The doc will sew him back together. Now I'm going to see the skull guy again. Alrighty. Let's use the infrared glasses, see the safe path. I actually remember which way I left the lever, which is kind of interesting. Uh, no, we don't want to take a picture of the mess. We want to get rid of the mess. There, all cleaned up. And that wardrobe that falls on him full of ties just disappears. And this is the end. Let's see if I got the levers right. I did! He just splats on the floor and gets crushed and the doctor saves him again if you get the levers wrong. You've proved your worth magnificently. I died every single way possible in there. Let us go somewhere. I couldn't read it in time because I was too busy yakking about what he just said. Look, here is Kada. That's where we are at the moment. As for the more distant territories, they're not well known to us. To the South Paul Island. I've no idea why it's called that. Our knowledge of the isles to the east is too sketchy to allow us to drop a detailed map. I'm sure they were saying sketchy back in medieval times. 
All I can tell you is that the inhabitants are a degenerate race, bloodthirsty, and quite pitiless. Absolute barbarians! To get back to your quest, old man, it appears that we've been cut off from the outside world. I wouldn't spread that news, it might cause a panic. Normally, a ship arrives once a month to deliver goods and load our exports. But there's been no ship for the past six months, and our only coastal ship went down with all hands a year ago. Before you set off, there's something I should tell you, a rumor that's going about. It says that he who defeats our enemies must first acquire the floating stars of the Earth's sister. Sounds like mumbo-jumbo to me. I bear it in mind, though, if I were you. You never know when it might come in useful. My lord, what do you want me to do? Your quest, should you accept it, is to inspect the nearby island of Dorsalis for me. Some... Def said? Some deuced? I have no idea what that's supposed to say. Strange things appear to be going on. On over there. Things which might be linked to. That's right. Tell him about your son. I'm not going to mimic the stuttering. I'd rather you didn't interrupt, to be honest. But you're... S I say, old fellow, do allow me to finish talking to Mr. Johns. Or Jones. Poor devil, his mind has given to running around in circles. It's unaccountable, given that I myself took care of the chap's education. He has been astonishingly bilingual, you know, not to mention entirely polyglot. I'm afraid the stutters have taken the upper hand now. And now I hereby present to you this terrifyingly lethal weapon. It will prove immeasurable help on your class. It's an impressive blade, Duke. Does it actually work in a real-life situation? Why, it's quite deadly. Watch. How oh, very odd. Check your equipment fully. That's what I invariably say. I can see you're a shut fellow, Johns, or Jones. No pulling the wool over your eyes. And now, I really must be off. Run along to the captain of my guards for the fine details of your dangerous quest. His office is the first on your right once you're inside the castle. And best of luck, old man. Chin up. And we could head this way now. Oh wait, we we always could head this way. I never did find the guy's keys. I think I know where they are though. There was one room we couldn't get into earlier. Which means we have to go back. Oh, no pithy remarks now, huh? You're all pissed out now that they pass your deals, huh? And uh, the doctor's still a jerk. The uh, ordeals chamber has been um, has been uh, blocked off. Master, none may enter the duke's apartment with dirty boots. I must insist you scrape that off that mud. And what gives you the right to complain about my boots? No, nope, apparently I'm still not allowed in here. Now, how could his boots have gotten dirty a second time in that short amount of time? He still won't let me in. Maybe I have to go see the Master Guard first. I don't know. Maybe he has the missing keys. He still doesn't want to be disturbed. That's fine. I don't need your help anymore, Doctor. It's fine. We'll need to get another sweetmeat if we ever want to return there. I'll just grab one for the road anyway. Sun setting, huh? Cool. Winter's on its way. Good morrow, Master. I thought it was evening. Maybe it is morning. Hmm. Didn't he say this was the guy's office? Maybe not. First on the right? First on the right. Maybe he meant first on the left? Nope. Hmm. He's still looking for his keys. I'm not sure where to find them offhand. Talk to this guy, maybe? If we can now? No? Hmm. 
Uh, no, don't return to DOS. I don't want to do that. Maybe I need to talk to that guy before walking into the room. Let's get a sweet meat. Such a weird name for what's supposedly candy. Doesn't sound like anything I'd want to eat. And the statues are still quiet. That's probably a good thing. Give him the sweet meat. It is evening. It's not morning at all. I don't know why the guy said good morrow. No, I mm. so I'm to talk to him. Uh, wait a moment. I have an idea. Maybe now that area that I thought was hidden is accessible. Maybe not. Hmm. Well, that's disappointing, if I'm going to be honest. Pretty sure that room is useful, but not until late in the game. I do need to find the guy's keys first, though. I do know that much. Maybe they're this way. Probably not, but you never know. It doesn't hurt to check. Alright, I've already been in this room a couple of times. No, there is no sign of keys. I wonder if I can talk to this old geezer. How come the castle has electric sockets? Try them and see. I'd like to find the guy's keys. I'd like to find the guard that the duke was talking about. Hmm. It's kind of irritating that I can't find those keys. Yes, we know there's a phone book. Set of keys. Here we go. Now we go back, give him the keys. He's probably going to tell us about that secret that I'm pretty sure is up there. Then we'll be able to get into that room, and then we'll be able to move on. wouldn't be yours by any chance, would it? Thank you, my good friend. Oh, I'm a good friend now. You saved my bacon. I'll show you my gratitude by telling you something that, apart from the Duke, I alone know. During the course of my numerous important duties as captain of the guard, I have discovered a concealed door in the Duke's son's apartments. The door leads to the apartments of the Duke.
All right, I forgot the sweet meat. Glad I remembered it there rather than getting all the way to the end. Give the man his sweet mate. He really didn't want to face the guy. Ah, yes. Complaining doctor. I'm not even going to talk to you because you're being a jerk to me. A secret passage. Ah. You don't actually move anything. You just operate the... Well, you don't move anything out of the way. But you... You just actually take a secret passage, which is kind of cool. Old fellow, I've given the matter some thought. Don't you know? And the thing is, dash it all, I want you to have these 30 gold pieces. Take them. If you need more, then do come and ask me. Sounds good. Can we ask him anything else? No. What are you doing behind my back? I don't know how you got in there, but you'd be wise to disappear from my sight. I will do just that, because we are done here. See? Out of your sight. That only took about five or six days of in-game time. I need to bribe someone else down the road. Uh, with that, I know nobody told us to, but we're going to leave the castle. I'm pretty sure we have everything here we need. I'm told you've come through the ordeals with flying colors. Allow me to congratulate you, Mr. Johns. We back up a bit because we want to go around the castle. If we get too close to it, oh. We were going around it the right way the first time? Okay. Oh. Yeah, those guys can hurt you. Um, I find they tend to be more numerous and more dangerous at night uh, than in the daytime. Let's talk to this dude here. Hi there, I'm new around here and I'd like to get the most out of my vacation. Well, get the most out of it anyway from me. Nobles and guards don't normally stand around shooting the breeze with each other. Tell me about the incredible dangers I'll face on the other islands. Do I look like I've been to the other islands? I spent my time studying to make a better life for myself. And what happens? They ask questions on knowledge and stuff like that. The whole thing's fixed, I tell you. I'd like to cross. Why don't you ask the local drunk what happened to his buddy Victor? He wanted to act like a wise guy too. So the local drunk's friend got in trouble, not the local drunk himself? Been a long time since I played this game, about 10 years. And actually, I think we do want to save it. We'll talk to this dude down here, but then we'll backtrack and go where those flags were. See what's going on here. What are you doing on the road? I vowed to make a pilgrimage throughout the island. May the gods be merciful towards you. 
How can I get off the island? I know not how. Go to the crossing of the three flags and choose yellow. You will come to the temple of a friend who will perhaps inform you. Tell him that friend... St uh, tell him that that guy sent you. It is the temple of twin roses. Um, let's go this way though, because I'm curious what's this way. I mean, there's another building. We'll shoot it before we go inside. What is this place? This is my humble inn. Business has slowed right down. It's the Duke, you see. He raised the taxes so that son of his could have a good time. Ask the clients upstairs. They'll tell you the same thing. Good moral wayfarer and well met, etc. You don't happen to know how I can get off to the next island. I would advise you to not go there. Dorsalis is living under a reign of terror. The authorities execute people at the drop of a hat. Nice chat. Oh, here's town. Here's the town drunk about his friend Victor, no doubt. What made you decide to get drunk? Because my buddy Victor's dead, and that makes me very sad. At least I could do was drink to his health. What happened to him? He was crossing the ford between the two islands, just like always, and he must have drunk too much. He must have strayed off sea and fallen into the deep water and drowned. Poor old Victor. I want to I want to ask him where the guy's buried, so I'm going back up there. That seems like a more interesting question than what happened to him. I'm a sick man. Can't you see that? So why do you keep coming around to shout at me? You must have other people to shout at, no? Apparently he's not going to tell me where Victor's buried. Hmm. Does one let me go back down? Oh, there we go. Now it's nighttime, the stars are out. I always thought this looked really pretty and cool for a DOS game. Um, I'm probably totally nuts. But then again, I was nine. I think I'm allowed to think such strange things. There's a windmill, no doubt powering the light sockets in the castle. Aren't you, aren't you in the castle with the others? No, Master, I'm guardian of the outer edges. I advise you to keep a sharp eye open for what you'll find on the other islands. We'll make this one seem like a vacation. I feel like I misread something. Do you have a message for me? Yes, my master desires you to hurry. A life is in danger. You would do well to remember that. I don't like that time passes when you talk to the guy. A conversation that short wouldn't see the, the evening sky darken that rapidly. There's a rose. It's a huge rose. Two more roses. We'll shoot the monastery before we go in. It's my way of greeting people. Because I am greeter, after all. Is there something I can do for you? Oh, how kind you are. Here's a letter from my daughter, Marianne. She lives on Dorsalis, you know. I think she'll give you help if you need it. He's looking awful blue. What is your name? I am Tepes, Grand Inquisitor of the Isle. I go from home to home sniffing at the evils of progress. It must be stamped out. Have you stamped out a lot of it out? Naturally, my eye pierces beyond the surface of things. You, for example, will know many dangers in the near future. How true. Ah, uh, here's the old dude I need to talk to. You're welcome in this sanctuary for the soul. Which religion do you practice here? 
countless other gods that have been, are, and will be worshipped. There is not enough room in all the space to build a temple for each of them. This, my friend, is THE temple, where all the religions are honored and none are practiced, so that none may be set above the others. You should have said so sooner. Any friend of that guy... Go south from the sanctuary to the crossroads. Take the left-hand path for a few leagues. Have no fear of crossing the ford. It's not deep. Could you give me some more information? Alas, there are so many things I could say, but they were told to me in confession, and my lips must remain sealed. I am a master of our order, which c could vouch for you. That might cast a different light on the matter. I feel like I'm going to have to come back here at some point. Aside from the fact that it's blue, I like that teapot. Alright, let's head back to the main road. The main road, if you follow it away from the castle after completing the ordeals, you'll eventually come to that ford that uh, will allow you to get to Dorsalis. You can tell when the game switches loading zones because it lags so much. See? Like that. He gone. Usually they tend to surprise you. They, they come at you from an angle where you don't see them, so that was a little interesting. I think the last one was the same way. And there's the Ford. So we wander across, trigger a loading zone, and are on a different island with like flamingos and crap. And uh, I'm going to save here. No, don't return to DOS. I want to save the game first. Uh, that is not the right one. I will figure this out eventually. Let's save the game. And I'm going to stop the recording here. I do want to thank you so much for watching and for tuning in. Uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.